Sports. Welcome to another Ryan Sports Views. Tonight I'm reviewing Mississippi State Bulldogs 26, Texas A&M Aggies 22. You can wrap this one in maroon and white because Mississippi State win 3-2 and two on the season. Was tough at times, but they do the job. They get it done like they should. I'm happy with them. They did what they had to do. In the first quarter, McCord with a 24-yard field goal to make it 3-0 State. Watermeyer with a 11-yard touchdown catch to make it 3-7. And then Jaden Wally with a 1-yard touchdown catch to make it 10-7. In the second quarter, Small with a 40-yard field goal to make it 10-10. Small with a 37-yarder to make it 10-13 for Texas A&M. Makai Polk with a 15-yard touchdown catch over the top from Will Rogers to make it 17 to 13. That's the way we go into halftime. State receives the ball at the start of the second half. After their first drive, which stalls out, they stop. Texas A&M, they get the ball back. Push down the field for a 20-yard touchdown catch from Makai Polk. Over the top again from Will Rogers, 24-13. Calzada has a 25-yard touchdown run to make it 24-19 for Texas A&M. Small with a 44-yard field goal to make it 24-22. Calzada sacked in the end zone by Nathan Pickering for a Mississippi State safety to make it 26-22. That's the way it would end. State wins. Not as easy as you like, but they did what they had to do. The defense stood up. The offense did the job mostly. They didn't totally sputter out. They did melt down a couple of times, but the first three quarters were amazing by the offense. If they could have played like that against Memphis and LSU, they would have won those games. We'd be undefeated, even the first three quarters, not even the whole game. Now, they didn't, again, they didn't put together a full game, but I'd rather it be the first three quarters and hope the defense shuts them down in the fourth than have to come back because you can't do squat until the fourth quarter. That's the way I see it. This game that State played was their best of the season. Tonight, it was their best of the season. They didn't really sputter out. The fourth quarter had problems. They sort of became undisciplined very quickly. Seven bad plays, two false starts, two holding, missed field goal, incompletion. That last drive offensively that led to the field goal and led them having to make a stop against Texas A&M was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I think it was second to last, actually, before the kneel out. But for me, State, they played well. They honestly played well defensively and offensively. Will Rogers, great game. They stopped checking down all the time. They actually went down the field, more like the air raid should be. This I was happy with this game by Mississippi State. I was happy with it. Texas A&M, they were running very hard, though. We could not stop the run. Calzada did not throw. He, he barely threw. Barely. I only saw him what? I felt like he only completed or threw like five passes. He ran wildcat type stuff. You know? That's what this game was to me. And State just couldn't stop the run. They couldn't. And I'm surprised we held better than we did. Defensively, yes, they made a good couple of stops. The offense scored. They won the game, but it wasn't perfect. It was good enough. And besides, Texas A&M are total frauds. They are. I told you before the start of the season, frauds. They lose to Arkansas. Frauds. Oh, by the way, what does Arkansas do today? Get blanked by Georgia. State beats them. Texas A&M are frauds. I don't ever want to hear again. Texas A&M are contending. I don't ever want to hear it again. Kellen Mond was the reason they were so good. Then they replace him and like, oh, well, I actually contend. We're better without him. Frauds. Frauds. Not good enough for me. Not good enough, okay? No, not good enough. Defensively, I thought State was okay. Offensively, they were better. Will Rogers, very good. Makai Polk, very good. Jameer Calvin, Malik Heath, Tulu Griffin. Didn't get any returns, but he got a good couple of receptions. 
Johnson and Ford. Offensively, State was unstoppable until the fourth quarter. Until they did it to themselves, honestly. I still think they were unstoppable. But they did it to themselves. With that said, I like the way that they played. If they could do this every game, they would not have lost two games. Maybe one, maybe undefeated. I don't know. They'll probably lose to Bama, so two instead of three. Maybe one instead of three, but hey, that's life. That's how f American football go goes in the SEC. That's what it does, okay? I know after the bye week we're losing to Bama. There is no way, no how that they don't. They're going to lose to Bama. That is what it is. It is what it is. They're losing to Bama. We know this. If they somehow beat Bama at home after losing to LSU and losing to Memphis and honestly scraping by Texas A&M, even though the offense was actually pretty good for three quarters and the defense couldn't stop a nosebleed, I would be shocked. Very, very shocked. Very, very shocked. That's just me, though. But hey, I'll believe it when I see it, okay? I'll believe it when I see it. Ole Miss lost to Alabama, and they're the good Mississippi team in most people's mind. What shot do you think we have? I'll believe it when I see it, honestly. I'll believe it when I see it when it comes to Mississippi State. I'll believe it when I see it. Texas A&M didn't really impress me that much tonight at all. State did the job. They did very well. I'm happy with the way they played. You may say it wasn't great. I thought they played well. This was better than what I saw the past couple of weeks. They passed down the field. They stopped doing all those freaking check downs. They actually got some good yardage out of pitch plays and laterals and some screens, but at least they stopped the screens that ended up being swallowed up at the, after two yards. You know? So I'll take that. Jaquavius Marks looked good today as well, if I didn't say that already. For me, I'm happy with the game. I'm happy with the way State played. They won a game they deserve to win, and they didn't blow it. I was scared for a little bit there, but their defense locked down at the right time, even though they were pretty bad all night. The defense locked down at the right time, and that's the thing that matters. The offense scored enough points. The defense locked down at the right time. I'll take it. It's a good win. It's a quality win. Hopefully it gets them ranked, I hope. About, what, 25, 20? I'd take it. I think it gets them ranked because Texas A&M are 15th. It should get state ranked around 18, 20 to 18. I'll take it. I think it should. I think it should. They should be ranked after the polls. I just want them to be ranked. That'd be nice. And they'll probably get knocked straight out after they uh, lose to uh, Bama. But... Hey, that's the way things go. So, with that said, I'm happy with how this game went. It was a very good game for State. I'm proud of them. They're starting to be better. And I'm not mad at all. I was not a Moorhead, not a Moorhead, <laughs> Mike Leach guy out. I'm not a Mike Leach out guy. Okay? I don't know why you want him out. Moorhead was a problem. Mike Leach, you got to give him time to build a system. And yes... Should he have challenged those calls in Memphis? Yes. Did he make a stupid challenge to basically blow the game against LSU? Yes. He did. Because they got screwed the week before. He did. Okay, that's fine. You could be mad about that. But Mike Leach coached a good game tonight. State played a good game tonight. Don't get mad. And don't say he should have his head on a silver platter and say he's out. You shouldn't do it. I'm tired of it. Mike Leach should not be fired. They should not want him fired. He's doing good. They've done better over time under him. They've learned. They've gotten better. Yeah, they're still undisciplined at times, but that's college football. I think Mike Leach has more room to get rid of discipline or non-discipline than Moorhead did or anybody else would. And you can see over time, they're starting to get better in the discipline area. It's not like they're wild. It's just they're making bad penalties. But you can see they're not making those bad penalties as much, except at the end of the game when they 
got out, shouted out, all that, and the 12th man were going off, they were, they were doing fine up until then. Been a lot of holding penalties, a lot of false starts, but they were better on the penalty game today. I think that also has to be said. Penalty-wise, State didn't give up as much as they did earlier this season. They're starting to get more disciplined, and you want that. Stop worrying, State fans. Mike Leach is just fine, okay? Don't don't say he should be out. I'm tired of it. Don't do it, okay? Cool. Good talk. With that said, that's my video, so thank you for watching. If you liked this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Check out my Patreon, 5 10 or $20 a month. Anything's appreciated. Help support the channel. Be awesome if you do. Also support by liking, sharing, commenting, super chats in the live streams, putting this in playlists, sharing this with your friends, all of that. And tomorrow, I have a live watch along at RSR for Toronto FC versus Chicago Fire FC. Can we beat another team with an interim manager and stop them from going on a new manager bounce? Well, then again, we already beat them this year when Frank Klopas was in the dugout, so... Because that was when Raphael Wicke went to his family due to a family health emergency. So, we'll see. Could we do it again at home? I think we will. So, with that, I'm Ron. I'm out. Peace. See you later.